Hello, hello, guys. Welcome back to Gift for City TV. Uh, this is your host, Gift for Zekana. Uh, today, we're at the University of Cape Town in Cape Town, the mother city, you know, the top university in the African continent. Don't forget to like this video and we are on our road to 100,000 subscribers. Please make sure you subscribe. Don't leave here without subscribing. Subscribe right now, it's free. And don't forget to like. Right. I'm here with an actuarial science student at the University of Cape Town. Hey, my brother, can you please introduce yourself? All right. Uh, my name is Tapano Mashoja. Yeah. Uh, I did my metric in 2023 in Rhodesville Technical High School. That side in Gauteng, Kempton Park, near Ortambo. Yeah. So, yes, I'm doing actuarial sciences and I'm a first year. You're a first year? No, no, no. I, I want his experience, you know, that's why I brought a, a first year student because I want to hear like how it's been actual science. But let's go back, let's go back to high school. You said you went to I remember, Roadsville Technical Roadsville. High School. Oh, Roadsville, Roadsville. Oh, I know the station, Roadsville yeah, Station. Okay. okay, okay. So, man, uh, you, how were you? Oh, this English thing is. This thing. What kind of a student do you were in high school? Like, were you a top achieving student or whatever? Uh, what? Yeah, so I've uh, been top achieving. I think I started climbing up the ranks, especially in grade 11. But one thing that's very different about which the school I'm coming from is that I was at a technical school. Mm -hmm. So we did technical subjects. Everything was, I did electrical engineering. I did um, electrical technology as well as uh, engineering graphics and design. So it's ironic for me to choose something mathematical. So... I didn't like the practical uh, assignments that we had in high school. So that's the thing that's very confusing um, um, about me is that I chose something mathematical where I grew up doing technical things. So, yeah, wow. so that's basically what I did. But achieving-wise, yeah, I've been fair. I've been fair. But you've I, been like, fair. You've been fair. You've been fair. You know, I thought maybe you would be saying you are doing engineering because yeah. most the technical people, they do engineering and what. Yeah. Uh, you decided to study actual science. Why? 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 Before we go there, let, let's talk about your marks now. Like, uh, what did you get for mathematics? Uh, for mathematics, I got ninety-seven. <laughs> uh, Ninety-four. Hey! Yeah. What does uh, what is another highlight? Uh, then an EGD probably eighty-nine, then LO ninety-one, but LO, uh, uh, you know, it's yeah. fair. That's fair. Okay. Okay. Let, let's dissect mathematics. What, what is it that is secretive that you did to make sure that you get ninety-seven? All right. So with, with mathematics, obviously, as uh, my person who loves mathematics, I was aiming for 100, but ish, I missed it short. So the thing about mathematics is that it's, it's, it's very, very technical. So technical subjects require practice and practice past papers, etc., etc. So one thing about mathematics in, high, in a high school level that you'll understand is that you can get through the content and great, get great marks without necessarily understanding much, but just because of the pattern recognition that you develop from doing a lot of past papers. So practice is number one and get a good teacher mm. i think i had one um teacher that i was watching on youtube you know so just a great teacher the experience of a great teacher who solves problems with you and mm. teaches you tricks along the way makes it possible for you you know to to excel in mathematics but practice is the number one priority but a good education is also good okay 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 good teachers and practice question papers guys every student that i've brought here they always say practice question papers, you know. So, what, what, what kind of a, what, what did you do? Like, how many hours did you sleep? What kind of food did you eat? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you know, did you play sport with other students or whatever? Mm. So, one thing about me is that I've been a student that's so hard on myself. So, I think since grade 11, mm. every exam paper I've cross nighted. I know it's not healthy, but I've always been okay. cross nighting, etc., etc. So, the thing about it is that uh, when you are writing a subject, let's say for English, for example, I'm writing English. Mm. The day the day before I write English, I'm an English man in person, yeah. so I impersonate what I'm going to write. Yeah. To some extent, the day before I'm doing um, I'm writing mathematics, I'm only doing question papers. I'm making sure that my mathematics mind is switched on. Mm. So just like people, you know, you can switch to a particular mode. Just like I did Afrikaans, um, hey style. I'm um, not hey style. I'm um, first edition of language. So. I made sure that I read those books. I listen to Afrikaans music so that it, it, it's within me. Yeah. Because as a person, your mind changes and there are different forms where your mind can get to. So just switch in into that stage. And I think that's one thing that, um, that I prioritized and why I slept later. Okay. okay. 
without wasting time, let's go to why actuarial science at UCT, specifically why actuarial sciences. Uh, actually, I didn't know that I, what I wanted to do in grade 11. It was suggested by a teacher, then I had to look it up. I saw it's mathematical. And now that I'm here, I believe there's nothing else that I'd rather be doing. So I just like the fact that it has money, uh, that uh, it's good for job security in the future. But another th important thing is that uh, it's, 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 it's the least practical subject, I think, you know, in terms of theory-wise and stuff. I just like numbers and the technicality of the subject. So that's why I think it's the best option for me. Okay, okay. Let, let's talk about your experience. I know you don't have much experience as an actual science year student. You're still in your first year, but you're over first semester. How was it? Start, <laughs> how was it starting in actual science at right. So starting um, from the beginning, it was a. I started a bit rough, you know, because you know there's all of this stigma that you hear. Hey, XI, it's a, it's a tougher subject, etc., yeah. etc. But I, to some extent, at least in first year, I believe it's a bit overhyped. Mm. You know, it's, it's 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 a mountain that is possible. You get what I mean? So. Obviously, there's a certain way of thinking that you need to adapt to. Because in high school, you just write down uh, your answers. For example, you do in mathematics, you just derivate, equate to zero, you find your maximum, minimum. But in this course, we're doing MEM 1031. What you need to understand is that you need to explain each and everything. So that was the thing that I needed to adapt to mostly. But otherwise, I think actuarial science, at least in first semester, is a bit overhyped. It's not impossible. But of course, you know, uh, there are late nights that I had to, was the sacrifice, etc. But it's possible, it's possible, very possible. Let, let's talk about the modules that you are doing in actual science in first year, mm -hmm. so that those ones who are coming, they can declare themselves. Mm -hmm. You're right. So I'm studying a Bachelor of Business Science in actual science. So the modules that I do are MEM 1031, which mm -hmm. is your first semester mathematics. Mm -hmm. And then um, we do ECOS 1011, which is that. And then we do accounting, mm -hmm. financial accounting at that. Mm -hmm. And then we do EBM. Um, evidence-based uh, management uh, which is about essays etc etc and then I do introduction to actuarial sciences and then the sixth module that I did was statistics the reason I did statistics earlier in the semester in the year is because I'm part of EDU which is the educational development unit where we do statistics throughout the year but essentially statistics is a second semester um, course that you're supposed to be doing in actuarial science. Wow. But you survived first semester. Now we survived. Uh, hey, hey, what was it? Like, what is the strategy? Can you give someone who's maybe someone is struggling in extra science? Mm -hmm. Like, what kind of things that you engage in university? Mm -hmm. How you study to make sure that you know you survive? Mm -hmm. I don't want marks. Yeah, no, okay. No, it's, no, university is about survival. Yeah, it's about survival. Yeah, you survive of course. Yeah, you survive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Ish, so the thing about it is that uh, in varsity, it's different from high school because in, in high school, if um, for example, I assume if you're studying actuarial science, you may be one of the top in your class. Mm. Um, the difference is that if you're one of the top in your class and you don't know the answer in high school, nobody knows the answer. Mm. But in, high, in varsity is that you meet a lot of intellects, a lot of bright minds. So if you don't know the answer, I promise you there's definitely somebody who does. Mm. So it's about creating that community, mm. you know, of people, of students that have done good in matric. You know, I have met a lot of uh, national achievers. I live with them at Res. I touch hands with them. I shake hands with them. So it's the life I live. I make sure that I connect with such people. And uh, one thing that uh, can prohibit people like from connecting with other people is maybe because they are shy. You know, shyness won't get you anywhere. In varsity, we all want to make it. It's not a competition anymore. So I think if you surround yourself with a community or group of people who at least specialize in something that you might not know and also be able to equally contribute, then I, I think I, you'll, be, you'll be good. And obviously the TATs, for example, I'm, I'm doing accounting, financial accounting, but I'm a non-prior, which means I didn't do it in high school. But the excellence that I've achieved is due to all the support mechanisms that have been put into place. You know, there's help for you in varsity. There's consultations. There's everything that's there for you. You know, sometimes maybe because we're not used to help in high school, you know, it's hard for us to conform and ask help because we're the brightest students. But I think if you utilize the resources that are available to you and the community that is available to you, ah, you know, there's, there's, there's very little chance for you to fail. You know, it's just, yeah, keep on connecting with people. It's definitely somebody who can help. All right. All right. My brother. Last words for our metrics students, like uh, who are currently want to see themselves studying natural science, maybe other courses. What, what can you say to them that will keep them moving so that they get incredible marks that will lend them to study their, their incredible courses? All right. Uh, so, to so the matriculants, uh, it's possible. You know, a lot of times um, I always talk about how your motivation levels shift in life. So, essentially, what happens is that in the beginning of the year, you set goals. You're like, I am going to make sure I chow course. I'm going to make sure that I understand the things I need to understand. I'm going to be on the top achievers. We saw national achievers being called, you know. 
there's that level of motivation that you have and i promise you you won't always have that motivation so what you should essentially do with that level of motivation is that you you push through that level of motivation into planning what you're going to do and then stick with what you plan um regardless of whatever happens so i understand in matric there are a lot of things a lot of due dates a lot of feelings there's a lot of things that are in matric you're not just matriculating there are a lot of things that are also happening but make sure you prioritize your future you know make sure you sacrifice um some friends sacrifice going to specific parties it's all about the sacrifice that you put and understand that the sacrifice that you um need to put to succeed is not the same as somebody else so to some extent you'll find people having it easy there are people who go to parties even now in varsity to be experienced such things they go to parties they go to groove every weekend but they'll pass you get what i mean so do not compare yourself to that extent so always make sure that you sacrifice and be willing to yeah to do the best that you can okay Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's still a long journey as a, as a, to become an actuary. I do have actuaries in this channel, of, exactly, and I'm still going to bring more actuaries so that they can talk. Then, uh, you, you, you inspired everyone who's watching us, and you are also inspiring me on the other side. So, thank you so much for your time on this channel, uh, Gift Varsity TV. I wish you all the best. Uh, there's still uh, a lot ahead of you, but yeah. with this kind of confidence and determination, you definitely make it my kind. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Guys, don't forget to subscribe. Please like, like right now. No, no, like, no. comment, comment. <laughs>